talking about you. Something I haven't been able to name. You know, you've been much more of a friend to me than a therapist. And you're more of a goddess to me than a friend. <laughs> goddess. Don't you think you're going a little overboard? <laughs> no. I don't. Monday on General Hospital. To Jordan. 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 There are some things I need to discuss with you. Stop lying. I'm trying to save our son. What do you think you're doing? I don't accept blood money. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Things may look quiet now, but just give it a few hours. We are on storm track as rain moves into SoCal. And with the rain comes the fear of mudslides. Now residents who worried their homes would burn just a week ago again find themselves in a tense waiting game. And if you are hitting the road right now, you are not alone. Experts say this hour is one of the worst times to drive for the Thanksgiving holiday. Welcome to Eyewitness News at 3. I'm Colleen Sullivan. And I'm Ellen Leva. We are now just hours away from when the first raindrops are expected to fall in Southern California. Wet weather could create the real problems not only for people living in burn areas recently by the Wolseley fire, but anyone trying to get out of town for that Thanksgiving holiday. And Danny or Mary, you are mm -hmm. tracking it. We see a lot of precipitation on the radar yeah, right now. Yeah, it's all to the north of us right now, but it's moving towards us. It's definitely going to get to us before the night is done and certainly into tomorrow. Let's check it out in the live Make It Off for 7000 HD. Uh, and there we can see there again, uh, for the most part, light to moderate rain showing up on that live Make It Off for 7000 HD. And we'll see it again off the coast and towards the north. We get in tight. We'll see right now some rain falling up around San Luis Obispo, but we're going to watch down here, Santa Barbara, Ventura County, especially in those burn areas. Keep an eye on this through the afternoon, evening hours as that rain does start to track in. To give you an idea, how things are changing. The clouds moving in over Malibu right now over the last hour or so. Just a little mixture of sun and clouds right now and the temperatures also on the cool side. A gorgeous view there. 68 degrees the temperature. There's the nine mile per hour winds going on. There's the moisture building up at 70% right now. And now checking out those temps over SoCal. Clouds all around. Cool temps as well. 66 in Oxnard. 68 for Ojai. 63 for Lancaster. We go from 71 in Van Nuys. 48 for Big Bear. That's a spread of temps, but mostly those numbers are going to be in that uh, mid to upper 60s range. 68 for Santa Monica, 66 for Dondo Beach and Inland. About the same. 69 for Covina and Monrovia. We're seeing 68 for Chino Hill, 69 for Ontario. So it's cool now. It's cloudy now. And yes, that rain's coming. How much we get? I'll let you know with a seven-day forecast in a matter of minutes. Right now, Colleen and Ellen. It's all yours. Danny, thank you. And the rain is a major concern for people in the Wolseley fire burn areas. ABC 7 drones showing those hillsides charred, which are now prone to mud and debris slides. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live in Agoura Hills as people prepare for the worst. Carlos? Well, that's right. We're in Bardell Drive, and behind me you can see what people here are worried about. This is a cul-de-sac, and look at the hills here. All burned and all surrounding all the homes here at the end of the street. Residents living in the Woolsey Fire burn areas are facing rain and in areas like this, the possibility of mudslides. That's why fire officials are urging people to prepare. And they are preparing. For the last few days, people have come to fire stations to pick up sandbags. They're set up all across Los Angeles and Ventura counties. And cleanup crews are also getting ready. We found one bulldozer ready at Fire Station 89. We were told that heavy equipment is being deployed and will be ready in case of mudslides. Then we went to several neighborhoods here where the fires burned right up to people's backyards, and now the hills are bare of any vegetation. There's only a layer of ash and dirt. People here are placing some sandbags, but they know this won't be able to stop a huge mudslide. They're hoping, however, it will be enough to stop water from getting in their homes. All the water is supposed to flow down into that drain, so I'm hoping that'll come to use this time. <laughs> but you're still a little worried. Still a little worried, yes, yes. It's a little worried because there's, you know, years of stuff that is up against the fence now. We're putting them right by the rain gutters just to have a little extra insurance policy just in case, you know, it does decide to rain. We got some sandbags. We can, you know, try to stop it that way. And while we've been here, a lot of neighbors, a lot of residents coming out looking at the hillsides, they're saying that they feel somewhat comfortable. They don't think they're going to have any problems tonight, but they are putting some sandbags and preparing as best they can. Reporting live from Agoura Hills, I'm Carlos.